Hey guys, it's Tiffany from supereasymath.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to calculate the mean of a data set. Mean. What is mean? A mean is an average of a collection of numbers. Mean can be calculated by adding up all the values of a given data set and then dividing by the number of values. A formula for this would look like mean equals the sum of all of your values divided by the number of values that you have. Let's check out the steps to follow when calculating the mean. First, you wanna add up all the values to find their sum. Then you wanna count how many numbers are in the data set. Finally, you want to divide the sum of all the values by the number of values. Let's take a look at example number one. Example number one says calculate the mean of the following data set. My numbers are seven, eight, and nine. If I were to add these together, seven plus eight plus nine, I would get 24. If you remember when I explained how to calculate mean, I said you need two divide the sum of the numbers in your data set by the total amount of numbers in your data set. So the total amount of numbers in my data set is three because I have one, two, three numbers. So I'm gonna take my 24 and I'm gonna divide it by three and I'm gonna get eight. So the mean of the data set seven, eight, and nine is eight. Let's take a look at example number two. Example number two, calculate the mean of the following data set. Well, again, I'm gonna start by adding all my numbers. I have four plus five plus three plus nine plus eight plus 12 and plus one. And that gives me a total of 42. Then I need to divide 42 by the total number of numbers in my data set. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So I have 42 divided by seven and that gives me six. And by the way, six times seven equals 42 is my favorite multiplication fact. Anyway, let's move on to example number three. Example number three, calculate the mean value of even numbers from 65 to 78. Well, this one's a little more complicated because they didn't just give us our data set. So they want us to find the even numbers. So we're not gonna use 65. We're gonna use the next number after 65, which is 66. 66 plus 68. We gotta skip 67 because 67 would be odd, right? So 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, and 78. When you add all of those together, you get 504. Now I need to divide 504 by how many numbers are in my data set? Well, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So that's 504 divided by seven, and that gives me 72. Now let's move on to example number four. Example number four, a small supermarket has a profit of $1,305, $1,850, $880, and $2,012 for five days. What is the average profit of this supermarket per day? So we're gonna add up our amounts. We got 1305 plus 1850 plus 880 plus 1125 plus 2012. When I total those, I get 7172. Now I have to divide by how many numbers I have. I have one, two, three, four, five numbers. Now I take 7172 divided by five and I get 1,434 and four. If you were to type that in the calculator, you get 1,434 and four 
tenths. Well, because this is a dollar amount, you're gonna add a zero so that you can complete your change. You, you wouldn't go to a store and it's not, it's not gonna give you a dollar amount point one digit is going to give you two digits um if you're dealing with like us dollars um some other countries may show their money a little differently but for the united states and you're talking about regular dollars it's going to be decimal in two digits not just one digit so you need to add a zero now let's take a recap here's our recap first add up all the values to find their sum then count how many numbers are in the data set Finally, you're gonna divide the sum of all values by the number of values. Now you try. I want you to comment with your answer in the comment section below. Calculate the mean of the following data set. What's nine, one, five, seven, and three's mean? You can find more of my videos on supereasymath.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe.